In the name of God, the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. This is the third Sunday of Easter, and I want to talk to you a little bit about Jesus' resurrection. Now, on Easter morning, we know the tomb was empty, and we know that Jesus had promised he would come back, he would be resurrected. So last week, we had the story of Jesus on the road to Emmaus, and this week, we have him appear to the 11 disciples. And what I want to talk a little bit about is that on these two resurrection appearances, both times involved eating meals, where literally on the road to Emmaus, the only way the strangers know who Jesus is is when they sit down and have dinner with him, and he breaks the bread, they recognize him. And then in today's gospel, he asks the disciples if they have anything to eat, and they offer him some broiled fish. Breaking bread and having dinners and having meals with one another was obviously important to Jesus and something he modeled all the time in his ministry. The meals literally nourish us and feed our bodies, but they also can feed our spirits and our soul. He, as you may recall, had the feeding of the 5,000. He ate dinner with Zacchaeus. He ate in the home of Mary and Martha. He went to a wedding with his mother where they had dinner and wine. And then of course, you know with the Last Supper, he dines his last night with his disciples and has bread and wine and then mandates that the disciples do this in remembrance of him once he's gone. So we know, we know that the feeding and care for us is important. Jesus modeled that. So I thought about like, what's something that you might be able to do that models that same type of caring, that same kind of nurturing or nourishing? And I think most people are back in school right now. And I thought one way that it might be living our lives like Jesus in such a way to model our Christian faith is imagine going to the cafeteria and you walk in, maybe you have your own lunch that you brought or maybe you get a lunch at school and you're about to sit down with your friend but you notice there's someone at another table that doesn't have anybody to sit with them. And if you stop just for a second and think, well, if Jesus were standing here right now with me, what would he do? And I think we know the answer. He would either invite the person to come and sit at his table and break bread with them, or he'd go join them so they didn't have to eat alone. And that's one way, one concrete way in our life that we can include others and live out a ministry where we're modeling our Christian faith and community. So I hope when you think about going to school and having lunch that you'll remember this. It was such a big part of Jesus' life. He knew that that kind of fellowship built relationships. It was a way to care for one another and get to know one another. God bless you. Amen.